One of the main factors in determining a home's value is location, location, location. So what factors make up a desirable location? Well, there's many factors, but a thriving business community is one of them. People know Warren County as the playground of Ohio. People come here as a travel destination to the city parks, tournaments for sporting events, recreational activities, and more. There's also many power players in the business world here, such as Procter & Gamble and Luxottica. But today, I'm here in Mason to talk to you about a startup program that Mason has called Tech Elevator. It's an innovative program that they use for startup businesses. The city has over 150,000 square feet of office space that they offer to these startup companies. They also work with them to connect them with partners who will continue to help them thrive. They're a sounding board and they're also a second opinion that's completely confidential. There are 18 early stage companies in this program and they are creating more than 450 new jobs and attracting $121 million in venture capital. So I would say Elevator Tech is pretty successful. But today, I want to focus on just one of those companies. I'm outside their headquarters here, and we will be speaking with the CEO of the company, Geneticist. He's creating a pretty exciting breakthrough, so let's go inside. So everyone, this is Piyush Srivastava, and he is one of the founders and the CEO of Geneticist. Thank you for meeting me today. Thank you, Melissa. So can you tell me, because I haven't mentioned anything about the business itself, what, tell me a little bit about the technology and just the, the, the bulk of the business. Yeah, so uh, we've been operating for five years now. We're a medical device company. We've developed the CardioFlux magnetocardiograph. <laughs> we like to think of it as the opposite of an MRI. Right. So instead of emitting a magnetic field to evaluate the structure of the heart or any other organ, we measure the fuel that's naturally generated by the heart. So okay. think EKG, we're the magnetic analog to what an okay. EKG is. So less invasive, really. Far right? less invasive or... than an MRI. Right. You know, there's no clunky noise, there's no motors uh, that involve electromagnetic induction or anything like that. Right, versus... right. So when someone comes in, say someone comes in, how, how will this technology help just the general public, if someone comes into the emergency room and they have chest pains, what, what does this machine do? Yeah, so if you have chest pain and you come to the emergency room, you're typically subjected to a very long and you know, labor-intensive process. Right. It involves a lot of testing, so blood draws, nuclear stress tests, which involve radiation exposure. Mm -hmm. And you as a patient are left wondering, am I having a heart attack? And you're not getting a lot of intervention, and you're staying in the hospital for 18 hours at often, right. oftentimes. Right. So, our test would be a 90 second test to be able to detect normal or abnormal patterns of the magnetic field of the heart, something that could be used to safely uh, and accurately discharge patients with chest pain. That's amazing. So do you think that this will primarily just be used in emergency room situations? Or do you think, like for me, I would think this would be a great preventative in like a yearly annual exam with your doctor? Certainly, I mean, when we built the company and the underlying technology, our team's vision was always, well, what can we do to, to predict disease? What can we do to avoid hospitalizations altogether? Right. Uh, so for patients who are you know, at risk of heart disease, doing regular screenings you know, out of the hospital, you know, at your doctor's office, that's mm -hmm. certainly part of our, our long-term vision, right. what we're building towards. Yeah, amazing. What exciting things are you planning, or what's, how's the rest of your year planning out this, this, this year? Yeah, this week's, you know, finished up a very exciting clinical trial at Ascension St. John Hospital in Detroit, Michigan, tested over 100 patients. Uh, now we're rolling out three more systems, more hospitals, evaluating awesome. and hoping to benefit more and more patients down the road. So that's that's the amazing. Biggest. Yeah, a little at a time, right, as you grow. Absolutely. So can you tell me one last question is, how was it working with the Mason Tech Elevator Program? Yeah, so the city of Mason has been very progressive on uh, you know, really partnering with companies in their early stages. So we moved here. Um, Which is a great space, by the way. It's oh, awesome. yeah. No, it's, it's amazing. So they helped us source this space. They helped us invest in this space. Um, Obviously, a part of that is subsidized rent, mm -hmm. but just as important, uh, introducing us to the right players in town. The tech elevator concept is putting like-minded entrepreneurs in different industries 
in the same right. building. Right. It's powerful. It's good crosstalk. Right. Yeah, I know Mark, Mark Cuban has invested in you. You yes. have quite a few quite a few power players behind you. So <laughs> that's that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, well, thank you again so much. Thank um, you. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then yes, I do have a new featured listing that I'd like to tell you about. It is actually here in Mason as well. It's 2791 Harvey Road, and it's a unique property because it's actually on 10 acres, but it's separated into two separate five acre parcels. There's a house on one, so you have the options maybe of using it as an investment and building on the other one. There's also a 30 by 80 foot pole barn. There's another barn and it's completely private. It's close to highway access and just a great space. And I don't think it'll last long. Back to the studio.